What's up, YouTube? I'm back like I never left, pulling another video off the shelf for you guys. Welcome back to the Blueprint 1LE channel, man. So today, I am dropping a video for you guys about an Easter egg that not too many people know about the Camaros. Now, I don't know that this come on the LT1s. I don't know that this come on just the 1LEs or the regular 2SSs or SSs, but shout out to Luan for dropping this for me. He got a YouTube channel, Follow My Line. He's an avid track rat just like me, but he tracked his a little bit more and he, it's a good channel to follow. He told me about this and somebody else just commented on my last video, Dana telling me to check this underneath my hood to see do I have this Easter egg. So I'm sharing with you guys how to get to it, where to find it, because maybe you guys have it too. It's gonna take me a little bit of work because I have a strut tower brace, but I'm gonna show you guys exactly where it's at, man. She want me to lock it down, but I told her to pass the key. You gotta slow it down, girl, you moving too fast for me. Nobody did it like this, so they wonder they asking me. I'm probably wondering, like, what is this Easter egg you talking about? Usually this come on like the ZL1s, I believe. But this right here is an engine plaque, which makes this car a little bit more special, where it's not shown when you pop it underneath the hood. But you had to do a little bit of work to find it. And apparently it tells us that there are engines was hand built by a particular engine builder so that's why i'm trying to figure out like who actually built this engine because my last uh camaro from 16 through 18 i don't think it had that on there but since i guess it started coming out 19 uh and beyond the plaque is there so we're going to see where it's at i'm going to take it off for you guys and we're going to dive right into this Okay, so we got the car cover off. Now we about to get into it, man. So, man, this engine looks so good. This color pops <laughs> with that, with when, every time you open the engine with the little red showing. I don't know if y'all know about this, but I got this done. If you asking, this is by D Brand, uh, Dead Brand, Dead Brand Designs, man. If y'all interested into this right here, man. He uh, built it for me. He put blueprint on there. So if you want the type of uh, engine plaques, reach out to him, man. Tell him I sent you, and he'll look out for you. Um, so what we're going to have to do here is I'm going to have to remove this strut tower brace to get to it because I was told that it's on this side of the engine, um, and it's on this base. So I don't have to, it's not a lot to do, but it's just taking this off. and then Or if you don't have a strut tower brace, you can just pop this off to get to it. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of work, but I want to see if it's there. So... Uh, bear with me. Okay, now that we got the strut tower brace off, now let's work on the other side here. I'll put this right over here. Now, if y'all probably want to know what's the next mods, man, don't pay attention to my garage, but look, this is my exhaust. If you guys are new to my channel, my old Camaro, I had a 16 Camaro 2SS. Um, they said, the dealer that I sold it to said my car was too loud, and they gave me all my stock exhaust back, my headers and everything for free 99, man. So, all of that, as you know, is going to go to this baby. I don't know, I probably want to sell this, my axle back, because I don't want it too loud. I'm probably going to do it to the stock MPP, but... I'm going to stick to the H part that I have here. Now, so back to this though. Where's the Easter egg? So the Easter egg is right here. So I'm about to pop this up. Hopefully I don't break it. Because the last one I had, I actually did break it. And I don't want to do that to this one. So let's figure out how to do that. So okay, I lifted it up on this side. So now we about to see. Uh-oh, I think I see it. I think I see it, man. I'm excited. Okay, so this is the Easter egg that we've been looking for. Right there. I hope you guys can see it. Oh, shoot. So my engine, Corvette engine, was built by Shannon Biles. Major shout out to Shannon Biles. I don't know if it's a he or a she, but this is what's up, man. So major shout out to Shannon Biles who built this LT1 engine to spec for me man this is going to be the engine that you built shannon if you're watching this vi video this engine gonna stay with me for a long time so 
you're gonna see all the work I'm about to do to it. So if you come across this channel, be sure to follow and subscribe so you can see all your hard work and dedication, how this block gonna do in the long run. <laughs> so like that, man, uh, I'm about to put all the stuff back together, put the strut tire brace on, but like that, that's gonna wrap this video up. No, I can't do y'all like that, man. So what I'm gonna do is give y'all a cold start cause y'all know this car haven't been started in a while, man. So I'm gonna let y'all guys, you know, hear how it sound, man, because I haven't heard it. And I got a new mod too, man. It's not really a mod, but it's something, it's cosmetic. It's cosmetic, man. And I feel like this is mandatory. They should have came with the one LEs, but they didn't, but I had to get it, man. Check this. The the one LE carpet, man. I feel like if you have a one LE, you have to get the one LE carpet, man. It's mandatory. I feel like this is one option they should have added, but GM didn't think this all the way through. I feel like it was last minute, but yeah, it looks good. It's on both sides. So yeah, this is where we at. But let me give y'all guys this good cold start. Let's make sure it's in neutral. <laughs> But yeah, let's go ahead and let this boy sing for a minute. the mustang is better at redlining versus the camaro but people saying stock wise man that the camaro don't sound good stock like the mustang the mustang is a little bit better and louder but i don't know man y'all drop a comment below i'm not biased but i am biased <laughs> but like that man i'm gonna let this car heat up i'm gonna put a strut tire brace on and then i'm gonna put it back under the cover because the next video i'm going to share with you guys the next things i'm about to do so right now I'm about to leave, and if y'all like this video, be sure to hit that like button, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.